Welcome to Off-Road Observer. In this video, my friend Jay, owner of Bigfoot Winch Ropes, will be showing us how to install synthetic winch rope. We met Jay about three years ago at Tennessee uh, Trail Jam. He did a recovery demonstration with our club. Uh, it's actually one of our first videos on the channel. Uh, we'll put a link down at the bottom. Has some questions about installing my new bumper, and uh, he uh, helped me out installing this fair lead and uh, synthetic winch rope. hard pull on the rope it will never spool up correctly it'll always bundle up on one side of the drum and as it does that it'll make a larger diameter turn which will bring the rope through the fair lead and then as it goes down it'll rub against the back edge of the fair lead opening which in this case the bumper if there's a sharp edge it will scrape the rope for approximately 8 to 10 feet before it'll cut the rope so we always recommend rounding off this back edge in here so that's a nice smooth transition from the fair lead back. That way there's no chance of the rope rubbing against it and damaging itself. Yeah, it's okay. So, so one of the first things that we're doing bad. here is with yeah, some of the winches, uh, getting access, uh, you can move that solenoid that's on top of the winch. This is true about Rough Country winches and some other brands. Um, basically, we're taking off that first plate so we can pull that off and get better access to the drum. Uh, you want to make sure that drum is nice and smooth and doesn't have any sharp burrs or gouges. If it does... Uh, you will need to file and smooth those down before installing a new rope. Do you have your remote? Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is line up the bolt that the rope attaches. Now uh, we're going to go, we're going to put the rope underneath the drum and have it go over to where the bolt is on top. Now one of the things about the bolt is you need to make sure it's the correct length. Uh, the different winch cable or, or steel cable or winch rope, whatever you had before, might have a different you know thickness at the end. So you might need to get a different um, uh, bolt at your local hardware store. Just make sure it doesn't go too far in and mess up the gears. So make sure it's the correct size before you commit to installing this. Side of the, the bar here. Another thing to note is the in the place. these bolts that are holding on the rope are not meant to to take the full pull of the winch. Um, that's where we're gonna wrap it a few times as Jay will instruct us in a second. But if you try to pull a vehicle with the rope just held on by that bolt and no wraps that bolt will just fly off and create a projectile that, um, and you'll probably lose it good luck finding that in the woods I just I just throw like a wrench or, or a, a socket for each size okay I don't want to need this later All right okay that's that's the th or the drum connector install. Cool. So now we're going to put away the tools. Basically have you back down the driveway. Okay. And I'll hook up the end of it. We're going to roll the rope out. And we'll hook it up to the end of mine here. Okay. Uh, back of my grand. And then uh, we'll have you in it. And just kind of keep the RPMs up to about 1500. Okay. Okay. Which you should be doing anytime when you winch it anyway. Recharging the battery, the alternator recharging the battery, because you're drawing the amperage down on the battery. So uh, just set it to neutral, or, or now you like put, it, put it in neutral. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna put your foot on the brake a little bit, give it a little bit of tension, because you're gonna create some resistance. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, we're gonna get back, and then I'll put two rolls on the drum, and then 
um, then I'll put five more on under some tension or like my body tension and then I'll say okay we're ready we'll make sure the rope is tight and then you put it in neutral keep the RPMs up put your foot on the brake create a little bit of resistance and we'll start winching up the driveway and we're gonna put the rope on the drum under tension okay until we get right about a little bit further back than where you are right now and then we'll bump it off on hook because typically when you do a re recovery you're gonna pull out at least 20 feet of rope yeah so there's no reason to take it under tension all the way up to three feet away yeah so we'll do you know about 15 feet and then we'll put that on under hand tension and then you should be good so we've put two wraps on there with no tension at all. Now we're putting some body weight uh, on that rope for about five more wraps. As you see, you see this uh, black chase sleeve. The, the winch rope that I bought is blue. And uh, it's just like with a regular cable, you get to where the cable is red. That means you're running out of winch line. You might need to add an extension or something else. Um, so basically those seven will be you know keeping you from actually pulling on that bolt which that bolt will just fly if you just do that as as the pulling point on one end now we're attaching one end to his grand cherokee you can use a tree you can use another vehicle and just make sure the winch line is nice and uncoiled no um, crimps or anything in the rope And two people is is the best to have in this situation. One that can be in the vehicle, uh, putting um, enough RPMs on there. I know when I installed my winch the first time, I installed it. I uh, you know tested out the winch to make sure it was good. And when I tried to drive later, I I got a low voltage warning on there, low amperage warning uh, on my vehicle. So that's one thing you need to make sure you have at least 1500 RPM on there. Now I have a little bit of brake going too while staying in neutral just to keep everything tight and keep myself from rolling. Um, now he is standing between, you know, right next to the rope and putting it on. This is fine in a spooling situation because the vehicle is not having to, the, the rope doesn't have to really pull hard to move my vehicle like it would in a situation where you're in a recovery situation at that point you need to stay away from the vehicle but where he's standing right now is fine and he's basically making sure that that line gets spooled nice and evenly onto um, the drum another thing is check your manufacturer uh, the winch manufacturer check to see if there's any uh, particular spooling instructions and also there the connection to the winch itself it might not be a bolt it might be some type of pass-through the drum situation so uh, check check their instructions also if you have any questions um, feel free to reach out to Jay um, he's a really great guy uh, bigfootwinchropes.com is his website and you can also check out his Facebook page. I'll put all these down into the box with links. And um, I can't thank Jay enough. He's been a great resource. He goes to clinics um, for clubs and uh, goes to a lot of different events across the country. He sells all this equipment. And, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, ask him. Or you can ask me and I can direct those questions to him and get that information back to you. Uh, put, put whatever you want in the comments and we'll get back with you. Uh, again, thanks to Jay from Bigfoot Winch Ropes. And uh, till the next video, this is Off-Road Observer.